Greetings folks, Flying Doctor here, hope you're doing okay. Now as you know my interest at the moment is flitting between the Hype Performance Group's HPG145. If you haven't seen the 5 star review that I've given on that, their update to version 2.0 then please do. That's been incredibly popular on the channel and if you like what you see please yes like and subscribe. But yes, uh, my other kind of, I feel like I'm being a bit unfaithful here, feeling like a teenager playing around. Uh, my other interest is uh, Phoenix's A320. And I've not got much for you this week apart from eye candy. And there's not much of it, so it's worth a quick watch. But it is worthwhile in terms of just uh, taking a step back and thinking about how you might be able to record your flights in some kind of detail. I am practicing my RNAV approaches at the moment from Salzburg into Innsbruck. One of the reasons for this is I was really interested uh, to fly something that's not only just challenging but well it's challenging because of the scenery as well. There's been lots of free and paid for apps. You can now do it within Microsoft Flight Simulator itself under the replay function but I'm still old school and I've just found this to be a really simple app to use. It's produced here by Nguy Nkuhi. I'm not really sure. I can't pronounce that, but um, whoever you are, thank you very much because uh, this is a fantastic little app. It works um, seamlessly. We'll see how effective it is in terms of playing things back, but that's more of a resource question that tends to come up when you are playing something back and recording it at the same time. But it's really simple to operate. You're probably going to struggle to read this, but it just sits there and uh, you just press record when you are in the sim and press stop recording, record absolutely everything, and then you can play it back later and uh, it will appear and you can decide and we can make you recordings from what is being played back. And as an added bonus, you can save your recording track as well and play it back when you want to later. So really, this video is the product of that. And finally, a big shout out to VAC. Vak Rom Dai, senior captain on Flight Sim TO once again. Uh, there's some really good Phoenix liveries that you're able to get. And this is Amsterdam with cabin. Now, I do have to just briefly beg forgiveness from Vak Rom Dai. I don't usually like changing other people's work, but for the sake of the channel, and also in fairness, just to highlight just the wondrous liveries that are available, I have made a very, very slight change to Vak Rom Dai's livery. It's subtle. Once you see it, you'll find it's a very slight change, and anyone watching the channel will give a little bit of a little bit of a challenge. Uh, if you can tell me what change I've made to this livery, and uh, then uh, pop it in the uh, comments section, I'll tell you whether you're right or you're wrong. But a beautiful uh, livery here, and, uh, and free to download. What's not to like? But just before I give you 90 seconds of a smoking eye candy don't forget of course that the non-smoking signs will be on and you'll need to fasten your seatbelts just before i give you 90 seconds a couple of words as we pick up a couple of glossy phoenix pictures here firstly before you tell me in the comments section that i'm doing everything wrong yes i lost the autopilot in the earlier stage of the flight so this is a manual descent in uh, or at least I take, I've, I've recovered autopilot and then I've taken over lately, but you can see things are a little bit shaky. I'm still learning. Secondly, if you ever do see this at view in the aircraft, something's gone very, very, very wrong. I just want to say that to Phoenix and just advise and public safety announcement and all that lot. No, I'm joking. If you're interested in exploring the Phoenix, then do let me know in the comments section because I'm already getting excited by it. Again, Payware Aircraft. Uh, $50. Uh, I know that PMDG have got it and then there's a standard 320 in the sim. Uh, I know that there are people out there who are professional. I'm certainly not a professional. I'm more like your yeah, idiot's guide and, and I'll do things like how to jump in in two minutes and get in the air and how to fly this thing like a Cessna, which is actually, I mean, you, you, that's really, it's really entertaining. It's really fun. Sometimes, you know, when uh, I kind of take off and I I lift the uh, undercarriage up and I'm about to switch into autopilot. I think, oh, hang on, I want, I want to carry on flying this because it's really fun to follow the flight directions and to fly. But again, yeah, public safety announcements. If you do get this view, something has gone very wrong. You are having an out-of-body experience with the problem being that there's no body below you. Anyway, so that's the second thing. And the third cheeky thing to say is, you know, I think seriously, seriously, being on this channel, I've always been pretty sort of serious and keen, otherwise I wouldn't have set up a YouTube channel. But it's been around about a year since certainly I did this 
did this little video. I've grown a beard since then. Um, but um, suffice to say, uh, it's been a year and I've got 783 subscribers and you're all wonderful people. You're amazing. 96 videos, 783 subscribers. It'll be lovely to get to the 1,000 subscriber mark. Um, why is that? Well, because it gives me a nice feel-good factor. Well, yes and no. One, monetizing the channel would be really helpful because that will give us resource to spend money on resources so I'm able to review for you things that you are interested in. And at the moment, there's a bit of limit with that, obviously, because uh, there's a war going on and there's not much spare cash going around depending who you are, if you're here in the UK. Anyway, rates of inflation, all of that, cost of living crisis. Oh, anyway, so... If you would subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you could share what we're doing on the channel, just a couple of really interesting things. I mentioned version 2 of the H145 update. We're on 1 .9, 1,900 views six days ago, which for us is massive. But then Master Your MCDU, which was the last Phoenix video, 81 views. Not sure what I should make of that because it is new. Uh, but also, in fairness, some of these mission videos, they are lower, but they're still worthwhile. And I'm getting really good comments on it. And stuff will grow because we're ahead of the curve, right on the cutting edge with the H145 at the moment. But it is really interesting just to observe where we're getting the following. One is this in-depth kind of introduction to products. So my most popular video was 5,700 views for the new H145 tutorial. That was way back in June 2022. And then stuff about generally how you can tweak your system to improve your frame rates. That was popular about the NVIDIA DLSS driver, a new driver that came out for DLSS 2.0. And then the quirky fun stuff, landing your helicopter in a stadium but not just any stadium Manchester United Stadium so anyway suffice to say folks it's wonderful to join with you do think about subscribing to us so I'm able to do a little bit more meanwhile let's geek into it Retard. 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 